Hi all, Brad Wright from the Single Malt Whiskey Club here, and this month sees the second instalment in our Tassie Trifecta series. This month we are really quite proud on a professional and a personal level to be helping relaunch the Overeem brand. I first met the Overeems back in around 2010 when on a trip to Tassie. At that time, there were just a few distilleries in Tasmania and the worldwide acclaim that Tassie whiskey enjoys all over the world today was just at its tipping point, but not quite there yet. Andy and I had been running the Single Malt Whiskey Club by then for about five years and had been paying keen attention to what was happening all the way down there. But it was always down there and it took me a while to manage to get down there for myself. So in 2010, I finally got my chance to check out firsthand when I accompanied my lovely and patient better half on a business trip to the Apple Isle. Whilst me lovely was toiling away at meetings and workshops and the like, I got to get out and meet some whiskey people and taste some whiskey. It's a dirty job, I know. I met all the legends that week. Bill Lark, Patrick Maguire. I even made contact with David McLennan from Cradle Mountain. And of course, Casey Overeem. It was like going on holiday to Hollywood and meeting all the A-list names. I was pressed for time on that trip and Casey generally, generously offered to see me on a Sunday. At that stage, I had no idea what to expect. I'd never even seen a photo of his stills. When I made my way into a suburban driveway in outskirts of Hobart, I thought I must have got something wrong. But no, there was Casey walking out to meet me. A warm welcome, and I was soon in the house having a cuppa with Casey and greet Overeem. I had to pinch myself. After that, Casey gave me the grand tour, and I do mean grand. He answered every question I had, and then some. But what Casey really did for me that day, through his words and actions, was convince me that my career in the Australian industry, the Australian whiskey industry, was just beginning. And the single malt whiskey club was going to be my ride for years to come. And thus, I guess it can truthfully be said that Casey and his family definitely had a large part in me getting to where we are today. I guess in simple terms, he really made me feel legitimate that day. So anyway... Casey and his daughter Jane got the approval for the distillery in 2005, which is the same year that Andy and I set up the Single Malt Whiskey Club. Jane was only 18 at that time and worked and subsequently worked in all aspects of the process from learning the craft of distillation through to bottling, packing, dispatching and of course managing a distillery. In 2014, Casey felt the need to retire and subsequently sold the distillery and the Overeem brand to another legend, Bill Lark. Jane started working for Lark as brand ambassador and thus retained her connection with the family brand. Eventually, as we all know, Lark and thus Overeem was purchased by Australian Whiskey Holdings in 2018. Jane moved on when she married Mark Sawford and the two of them set up their own distillery, the Sawford Distillery, in 2017. They have been busy getting that up and running since then and most importantly, producing lots of spirit. Casey told the pair that his biggest regret was not making more spirit in the time that he had. Jane and Mark are definitely not intending to make that mistake. And then at the start of this year, lo and behold, seemingly out of nowhere, the February news erupted of the reacquisition of the Overeem brand and, and their stock by the Overeem family. I'm not exactly sure why, but that news caused an immense feeling of happiness in me. I was smiling all that day. I sent Jane a congratulatory note and she replied with an offer I couldn't refuse. Would we be a part of the relaunch of the Overeem brand? Would we? This moment goes right up there with that date with Casey and is still so many years ago. Once again, the Overeem family gave me a huge boost in spirit and confidence. Our own recently relaunched Single Malt Whiskey Club brand was going to be part of something very special. And here we are. The new Overeem goes back to its original ethos once more under the Sawfords. Meticulously created spirit made to a family recipe aged in top quality oak and only sold as single cask expressions. Easy. And so this month, we are pleased, proud, humbled and absolutely stoked to announce our Malt of the Month for July is not one, but two single cask sherry releases from one of the oldest brand names in Australian single malt whiskey. So let's have a taste of this wonderful whiskey. Both casks are similar, they're both ex-sherry. 
Uh, but of course, no two casks age whiskey the same, and so they are not identical. Both do have common characteristics, but they also manage to keep their own identity. So let's start with cask 234. There it is. Lovely amber colour. It's what you'd expect out of a sherried whiskey. Not as dark as some, not as light as some. And here it is. Mm, okay, so on the nose, there's big caramel up front. Christmas pudding, sweet dark sugar. There's a few floral notes floating over the top. Mm. Caramel, toffee, stewed fruit. It's very, very slight astringency. And then the finish is medium length and warming, but not spicy, and yet more of that stewed fruit. Mm. Mm, yum. All right. Two, four, five. Cask two, four, five. Let's have a taste of it. There's a, there's a marmalade sweetness in stewed fruit, of course, but then the end of the nose, there's just a, a, a touch of saltiness. The palate. Mm, stewed prunes, caramel, a bit of leather, and a very faint savoury note just on the back end of it. Beef jerky, maybe, but only very faint. And the finish, very light spice once again. Warming, but not spicy. There's chocolate and toffee sweetness in a very medium length um, finish there. In summary, I guess, both casks are fairly similar in taste. 245 leans just a little towards the salty, uh, savoury end of the spectrum. And 234 is a bit sweeter and fruitier, I suppose. So that's it. What a month. The relaunch re re of the Overeem Single Malt Whiskey brand. And we have two exclusive sherry casks for you. 234 and 235. Get in now. They're not going to last very long. Till next month, Slangevar.